And law enforcement goes into a building going after an active shooter. They want as much information as possible. And that's why Ross Township police were upset a year ago this weekend when they went into a potentially dangerous situation in Ross Park Mall without the aid of security cameras. New this morning, John Shumway is here with how things have changed over the last year. And we all recall those moments trying to see everyone leaving the mall that day. Yeah, and I can't even imagine if you're a police officer responding to a report of shots fired in the mall and you have no way to see what's going on in there. Remember, Ross Township Police pulled no punches about the situation that Saturday a year ago tomorrow at the mall. There was plenty of confusion in the mall that day. And out of nowhere, people were running down the hallway and they shut the doors, told everybody to get in the back. And the police were not happy. They had no way to see what they were walking into. Our chief of police has even sent letters, I believe, two or three times to Simon Corporate, urging them to put cameras either inside or outside of the mall, and they've continually refused to do that. And days like this are why we have asked them over and over to do such. Cameras that would have been vital to locating suspects and determining areas of risk. Fortunately, there were no shots fired during the fight in the mall that day, and no one was hurt. And Ross Detective Sergeant Brian Kolhep says the incident got through to Simon Properties. I really have to give a ton of credit back to Simon Properties and Rossport Mall where they not only installed cameras, but they really did it right. A security specialist company was hired and the mall wired. They really did it right. There's more cameras up there than I can even, that I don't even know the number of cameras or so many. The Ross police have access to the cameras and they're wired into Simon's headquarters in Indianapolis. And those cameras are monitored at that location 24 hours a day. In a statement, Simon Properties says the cameras were put in in Ross Park Mall and South Hills Village. Quote, this is an added measure to our extensive security program that is in place to provide a safe shopping environment for customers, retailers, and employees. End quote. And while he leveled the criticism a year ago, Detective Sergeant Kolhep was overflowing in his praise of Ross Park when we spoke yesterday. Not only the cameras, but their overall security efforts. Well, that's real. I mean, it's great to know. And, you know, talking about the, the other cameras at South Hills Village Mall, yeah. too. Right. I mean, it's I think it all gives us a little bit of peace of mind, especially if something is happening. And like you said, they need to know they can't see it unless there's cameras there. Yeah, they're there now and they're a comfort and they hope they never have to use them. Yeah.